Hey, what's going on, folks? My name's Gray. This is Consultronics, and as you can see, it's another glorious summer's day over here in the UK. But today, not even the weather can depress me, because this morning I got hold of a video game that I've been after for years. And just in case you haven't guessed what it is from the title of this video, it is one of my personal favourite animes from the last few years, K On. And if the opening of this video should probably give away a little uh, about what the video game is going to be about. Speaking of the games, here it is. K on for PSP. Now before we get to the game itself, just quickly show off what we've got here. We've got the UMD, thankfully, manual. We'll have a look at it in a second. And we've got some paperwork. We have something over here, warranty or something. Add up for some uh, games. We've got Project Diva 2 featuring that Vocaloid, what's the name? Mika Hatsune. And what's that? Fantasy Star Portable 2. Also by Sega. Now, most viewers of this video will come in two categories those who know Keon and those who don't. So for the latter, the characters that's Yui, the main character, on lead guitar. We've got Mio on bass. Ritsu, aka my wife to be, on drums. We got Smoothie, the posh bird, and we got the adorable Azusa, Nyan. Yeah, not much English in here, but like I say, the game very simple is a rhythm action game. Tap the buttons as they come up on the screen, just like uh, Guitar Hero or Parappa. Awesome stuff. I can't wait to play it. So. Yeah, uh, hold on. Got my PSP handy. Oh, sorry, Gradius collection. I'm gonna have to trade you in for a younger model. Now, don't worry. I ain't gonna play the game on this grubby screen because, thanks to the industrious children of China, I have a means of hooking up to the television. So let's check it out. Ah, Kayon, Hokagon no Tea Time Live, or After School Tea Time Live, a Japanese exclusive 2010 release for PlayStation Portable. Luckily, I was able to pick this up off a UK seller, so it only took two days to arrive compared to the five or six weeks I'd have to wait to get it from Japan. Sega. <laughs> Sega. We have the title screen featuring the main cast of characters. We just got to figure out how to start it now. Yep, and away we go. Now I'm a big fan of Kion. I only started watching it um, start this year, but I have to be honest, it's a fantastic show. If you're prepared to give it a chance, you'll be well rewarded. Kyoto Animation pulled out all the stops making this one. Of course they're the same people behind shows like Harui Suzumiya and Lucky Star. That's some CV to have. <laughs> now the characters don't look like this normally, they've been uh, cutesied up or super deformed for the game. I assure you there is a game behind this, this isn't a visual novel, at least I hope it isn't. At least they managed to get hold of the original voice actors. Speaking of the voice actors, um, K-On would become something of a phenomenon in Japan. And out of five main voice actors, I think only one of them had any musical experience. But they would all go on to practice and learn the instruments that the characters that they voice played in the show. And now they are actually perform live. Like I said, playing the instruments of the characters they voice. To some degree of success as well, they've had some hit singles in Japan. 
Mm, the K1 animation has uh, pretty much wrapped itself up. There would be uh, two theories. Oh, what's this? Looks like we're getting some instructions. Looks simple enough. Like I say, I've not played this game before. But as I was saying, the uh, two series, uh, two animated series uh, wrapped up in Japan. They have been released in America, I think. But there's an animated movie out now that came out in December last year. I'm really, really looking forward to because they come over to uh, my manor in London, you know. So I'm kind of interested to in see <laughs> how that plays out. Looks like we're going straight into the game, so let's check this out. You know, it's very easy to become very cynical when you're playing games, but I like games like this. Games that you can just enjoy for the fun of it. I'm guessing all these songs, I'm um, guessing they all have to be unlocked. From the little bit of research I did while waiting for this game to arrive, there are costumes and things you can unlock. Um, like I said, this is the very first time I played this game. Uh, we'll go to the main girl first, I think, Yui. See what we can do. So can we play is it uh We're gonna play all of the classics like uh what was it uh Furry Free Time and uh My Love is a Stapler. I'm sure you'll remember them ones, so you'll be humming them at uh at home in front of your computer. Yep, it is literally as easy as this, you just press the corresponding buttons when you need to. Um, I don't, uh, I'm actually watching this, or I'm actually playing it now in black and white because I've got it hooked up to a CRT TV while it is recording on my laptop, so... The picture isn't great, so I'm not sure how this is going to come out, I hope it's going to be uh, watchable. But yeah, the title of the show, K-On! would come from, um, I forget what this is, K-On! Kaon Gaku or something like that, which means light music or pop music. So Kaon is just a shortened version of that. Now I don't know about some of you guys uh, watching at home, what kind of music you'll be into. There's a lot of people out there who like to get hold of their, you know, video game soundtracks and things like that. Um, in terms of music, for me, I'm strictly hip hop and R&B. But uh, some years ago I was um, learning to speak Japanese and in order to kind of help myself with that I used to listen to um, a website called Japan A Radio which plays a lot of Japanese music and things like that. Uh, so I did kind of get into the sort of Japanese pop scene a little bit. Like I said, uh, growing up music wise, strictly hip hop man, strictly hip hop. But this is alright, I don't mind this. Um, my Japanese is extremely rusty, but I am able to pick up on um, bits and pieces what they're, they're singing about. We come to the end of the first song. Now, originally what I was planning on doing was... Uh, uh, what? Oh, I was supposed to press a button there, I think. Uh, now, originally what I was planning on doing was showing off one song, because that's the very first time I've ever played this game. Uh, then going to one side, practicing the game a little bit, maybe a couple of hours, you know, maybe we unlock some costumes, and then show you exa- D, what do you mean D? But yeah, I was going to play another song then a little later and, you know, show you how this game is meant to be played, you know, playing it properly, but I'm actually getting quite deep to this now, I, I, I don't want to turn it off, I want to keep going, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play one more song as a different character, we'll see how we get on there. Uh, like I say it's not too easy. I'm playing this on the PSP, um, using the PSP as a controller, but pictures in black and white on the TV, so it's not the best. Mm, certainly didn't unlock anything uh, with the D, did I? That's all the fans of the show. If there's any watching this video. Leave some comments, man. Tell me what you think. Have you played this game? Is this a game you'd pick up? How much would you be prepared to spend on it? Because uh, I paid uh, top dollar for this game. I paid about, including postage, I paid about 33, 33, 34 pounds. But I would not pay a penny more than that. that it, for me, it was top, top dollar. 
But I mean, I have heard of people paying £60 plus to get hold of a copy of this game. Although I've got a feeling this might be another one of those videos that I upload that uh, gets almost no views, comments or likes. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. Try and get try and get Lisa B or something on this one. I think this is the first time I've heard uh, this character sing. Normally in the show it's the the two guitar players, Mio and Yui, who do the singing. I hope this video comes out alright. Um, I very nearly wasn't going to do it. Um, a lot of people that subscribe to my channel, they kind of like to see the uh, shoot maps, things like that. They want to see me caving some of the cave titles or some, something like that. But you know what? I set up this channel to show off the kind of games I'm into. And I've been looking uh, to get this game for a while, so I thought, sorry, I'm going to do a video on this one. So I hope you're all enjoying this. I know Kaon probably isn't that well known the video game community and my last video when I showed off the 2000D comics that wasn't exactly uh, all that popular and over the last few weeks I think I've probably lost more subscribers than I've gained so you know we'll have some more shoot up videos coming soon I might even show some of that greatest collection uh, also on PSP yeah anyone watching this video let me know what you think man let me hear some of your reviews. Do you like seeing games like this? Games kind of out of the ordinary, a little bit different. Or do you want to keep it strictly, uh, strictly shoot 'em up? Do you want to do some fighting games as well? Kawaii. Just waiting for our eyebrows to turn upside down for the 1,784th time. Hmm. Well, as we come to the end of the video, I suppose all, all that's left is for me to say thanks for watching. This is Kaon on PlayStation Portable. There would be a HD remake of this game, uh, also a Japanese exclusive, that is out on uh, PlayStation 3. The kind of prices it's going for, I don't think I'll be picking it up anytime soon. Oh, does she speak? Let me, yeah, 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 yeah. Bang. Is that it? <laughs> well, anyway, to anyone or everyone who's made it to uh, the end, thanks for watching. My name is Greg, this has been Consultronics, and D again, oh for God's sake. Definitely need some more practice on this, so I think that's what I'd better go off and do. So, till I see you all again.